Hello and welcome to my apartment kitchen. I am gross. I just got back from prenatal yoga, which is very difficult if you haven't tried it yet, but also a good workout. Right now I'm about to make my favorite pregnancy smoothie. So I figured I'd share it with you. It basically has two main ingredients that I would suggest are key to the whole thing. Um, and those two ingredients are raspberries, I have frozen raspberries here, and chia seeds. I have mine in a glass jar, but we're gonna build on top of that as our power base. Now why are raspberries and chia seeds the feature here? Fiber. One of the first things I learned in my first trimester was that I could boost my fiber and be more comfortable, if you know what I mean. Now I eat a lot of plants and a high fiber diet in general, but my OB suggested packing in some very high fiber foods here and there throughout my week so that I wouldn't have the problem with my digestion that I was experiencing in the first trimester. Now since implementing that, I haven't experienced the problem and I am now 37 weeks, very comfortable, so we're gonna keep doing it. The surprising thing to me is that you get a third of your daily fiber in a three quarter cup, in a three quarter cup serving of raspberries. Raspberries are very high fiber. So we're gonna do three quarter cup raspberries. You can do fresh if you'd like. And then an additional five grams to boost us over the edge. Five grams of fiber in a tablespoon of chia seed. So we add that. And now already our pregnancy smoothie is off to a really good start. Very basic, a nice baseline anyway. If you put these two ingredients into your favorite smoothie, then it's basically a pregnancy smoothie in my opinion. Let's make it fun though, because we all know we could use a little extra fun in pregnancy. Could just add water to this, keep it super direct and straight up and just drink it for the function of high fiber. Or you could do a couple things. So I've experimented with adding peanut butter for like a PB and J flavor. If you do this, I recommend using a milk. I do plant-based milks. I would do an oat milk. Same, you could do, instead of peanut butter, some cacao or chocolatey flavor, for like a raspberry chocolate, almost dessert style. Lastly, I've also sometimes added a really strong vitamin boost by adding some fresh spinach. So spinach, I find, is pretty flavorless in a smoothie, particularly if you're adding like a peanut butter or something that's pretty substantial to it. So if you want to get some greens in, a handful of spinach will go a long way. Since I'm getting back from yoga, I am a little bit more hungry than just a pile of raspberries. So I'm gonna do some oat milk just to cover the raspberries really. Almost to cover them. It's okay if you see a few peeking out. And I'm gonna do a scoop of peanut butter. A healthy dinner spoon scoop. If your raspberries are not frozen, if they are fresh, I would also add ice here just to make it seem a little bit more smoothie, classic smoothie-like. That's it. So for me, started with the raspberries, three quarter cup, a tablespoon of chia seeds, and I just added two more things. I've added oat milk and a scoop of peanut butter for flavor. Also, you know, some fat and calories to get in. And you know what, what the heck, let's add some spinach. But as you can see, you really make the smoothie your own. As long as you have those raspberries with a third of your fiber for the day, and those chia seeds, adding an additional five grams of fiber, you are cooking. Okay, I'm gonna silence the noise for you because it gets quite loud. Grabbing a trusty glass straw. Now my color is not the most beautiful thing in the world. <laughs> Mostly because of the greens. If I left this raspberries, water, chia, the straight up, it'd be bright pink. 
You can also add other berries. At times I've added strawberries because I've had some cravings for strawberries. I'm so glad we're at the part of our relationship where I can show you my face when I'm looking like this. This one that I just made is super creamy. It's like, is that gross? <laughs> at times I've added protein powder as well. But there you go. That's your pregnancy smoothie inspiration. Again, sorry mine isn't the most beautiful Instagram worthy version, but it will keep your system happy. And all in all, it's pretty low calorie. Obviously I added peanut butter, which is higher, the most high calorie part of this, but you can make it as simple or complex as you want. Get that fiber, mama. I'm going to enjoy this and then hop in the shower because I also have grease in my hair after a prenatal massage I got last night. I'm really pulling out all the stops for this 37th week of pregnancy, you know? Thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. I will link my pregnancy playlist up here in the information card so you can check out my other pregnancy related videos if you're new to my channel. And click the red subscribe button if you wanna hang out. It's completely free, follow along. And there are plenty of videos from years past that you can also poke around and look at. Have a healthy, happy pregnancy, and I'll see you soon.